With DaVinci Resolve 19 just being announced, I want to make sure you get it all installed safely. It's really simple. Just head on over to the Blackmagic Design website and click here on the support tab. Choose DaVinci Resolve and Fusion and scroll down to where you can see the software update. Now this is where some people, and I have done this in the past, choose the wrong version of Resolve. If you're on the free version, choose DaVinci Resolve 19 Public Beta 1. And if you have paid for Resolve, choose DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 Public Beta 1. Next, choose your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so if you're on a PC, choose Windows or Linux. Once clicked, a pop-up window should appear. Now all you need to do is click download only at the bottom here. This will auto launch the downloader, but if it doesn't, just click here. Once downloaded, unzip the file and launch the DMG and you should see this window. What we wanna do here is a clean install, which helps to avoid bugs and it's very important. First, make sure your Resolve database is backed up. You can follow this video up here if you don't know how to do that. Once backed up, let's uninstall the current version of Resolve. Now don't worry, the installer doesn't delete all the important stuff. So all your settings and preferences will still be there when we complete the install. Once installed, double click the installer, click continue and agree to the terms and conditions. Hit install, re-enter your password if required and the installer should start to write the files to your machine. Depending on the age of your machine, that will determine how long it takes. So if it's taking a little while, don't worry about it. When finished, you should see the installation successful dialog box, which you can close and choose to not keep the DMG if you don't want it or just move it to your bin. For Mac users, if you're like me and you like to have Resolve in the dock, you'll need to redrop it in here along with the proxy converter. I would now recommend you restart your machine. It's not necessary, but it's just good practice. Click on the Resolve 19 to open it and you should be presented with the following list of goodies replay live post-production, text-based timeline editing, IntelliTrack AI tracking, film look creator, color space six vector grading, advanced volumetric rendering, Altenar noise reduction, and the new AI audio panning to video features pane. These are the key new features of Resolve that we will explore together in the coming days. Now just click continue, hit the start button, and you're good to go. Your database should open, and all you need to do here is either start a project, or open an existing one. Now, if you're new to Resolve, I'm here to help you learn. So consider subscribing for more tips and tricks like these ones up here. Swipe up, tag your friends, like and subscribe, comment below. If I make this follow, don't let this flop.